Welcome back to Endo Classics. We're gonna do a little walk around, get a project update on what's happening inside the walls here. Um, we'll just dive into it and get into uh, this Cobra here. A uh, big thing from last time everyone was around was uh, putting different quarters on this. So we got a shipment in from Factory 5 of a front clip, cut it apart, took that fender, put it over here because of our nice flared out um, flare. Biggest thing it changes is it gets the tire nice and flush right here. Gives it that flare. You know, we're trying to pull that modern Cobra into the equation. Um, not for the faint of heart. There was a lot of cutting, splicing, fabrication going on here. Um, we're pretty much wrapped up for the most part with all the hard struggles. Tyler is working on we got this side domed in, you know, you can tell that this just sleeked the car right out. You know, it lowered this whole quarter panel here. This all flows. If you look from the side, this is actually higher, higher than out here, which before this was higher than this. It just takes on a whole new shape of the car. He's working on finishing up that last section over there and the quarters are on this car and you've got a happy customer. He's got a custom car and we're gonna keep going because we've got more to do to it, so. Somebody asked me if we were scared to do that and I said, no, I think we can tackle it, so. Um, last time, I don't think we had this car in here, so this is another Ford project. Um, this is a more concourse restoration happening here. This is a pretty rare Ford from back in the day, 427, four-speed car. Uh, w code, super rare, worth the money to stick into it and build, you know, a car that's going to end up realistically in a museum, hopefully one day, hit up all the Ford Nationals, and that's that's our goal is take it to Ford Nationals, and from there the owners he'll decide what he wants to do with the car. So um, what we started with was a full rust-free chassis underneath. You know, it's all date coded correctly. Um, the car was really rough when it came in here, the original. So this is how we're piecing it back together. You know, that way it's all factory original. All the spot welds are there. Date codes are correct. Everything's spot on for that one. Uh, we took the roof, cut it off the original car, sent it out for media blasted. You know, we kept everything intact that we could to do this procedure. And you can see where we sectioned it in here. You know, this is all layered here, so it was actually cut open a little bit, layered correctly, so it's it's not a, you know, we just didn't take a hacksaw and go right through here and weld it back together like your chop shop. You know, we, we, we take the time, do it right, so it's built right. You know, if it, worst case scenario, gets in a collision, we, we feel safe that he's, he's safe in there. Um, got ourselves original quarter panels, sent those out, you know, reworked them, pulled the dents out. We had to do a little, um, re-weld in there. The tubs are actually AMD tubs because there's no date coating on that, so that's that's not one of them. You know, we can float that one. No one's gonna know the difference on that situation, except I just told you. <laughs> but, um, you know, you can see all the, what we gotta rework here, rust there. You know, the back is the worst part of it all. We're gonna have to pull the whole package tree out of here and build build a lower package from scratch, redo the sail panels each side. This is actually gonna get cut open because there's an inner structure here that's rusted out that we'll have to hand fab and rebuild all that structure. But like I said, it's got the new tubs in there now. Quarters are really good shape for a 67 Fairlane. Um, so really it's, it's, the roof is welded on. We, everything's test fitted in that department, but the quarters are loose or just hang in there so we know everything was good to weld our roof on and we're gonna take it back apart, fix all the inner stuff, put everything back on here and then weld the car back together. So a um, lot of hours into something like this. This is not faint of heart stuff and then to pull it off to be correct is adds another task onto it. So are we up for the challenge? Yes we are. Pretty pretty cool to put your Put a feather in your hat that you did a car that's going to the national, so we're pretty excited about it. Even though it's not a hot rod, but <laughs> <laughs>
we'll take it. Um, 58 Bel Air, um, we got the motor over there. We got all the drive line assembled on that. We did an EFI setup on that. You know, it, it's, we haven't installed it yet because we're still finishing up the block sanding. You know, the back of the car is block sanded. I got the hood started. Um, roof is done. You know, we're just working forward now. So block it out. We'll probably blow it apart so we can prime what we need to on the inside. You know, we know the car's fit right, done right, that prime it, block it for paint, paint it in pieces, throw it right back together. You know, we go through and pin everything so we know we can just line our pins up, bolt it right back together, and we're, we're ready to roll. So we're closing in. I'm seeing color on this car, but it, it is a few weeks out yet. Um, it's, it's really where this one's sitting at, you know, just trying to line up all the pieces of the puzzle as it gets closer to paint. So when it's painted, we can just boom, right back together, out the door it goes. K10, fully, I mean, fully built. We built a custom exhaust under it. We got the gas tank sitting here. We got to finish that out where, you know, this will be the new filler neck situation because we moved the tank under the truck, got it out of the cab. The last thing we want to do with a four inch lift, 35 inch tires is drop the tailgate and fill the gas from there. So we're, we're going to run with this where it's easy, flip the light down, fill it from there. And that was not easy either. That's, that's a lot of fabrication going on there. Um, as you can see, bumpers are fit on it. You've got the nitrous sitting back here. All them lines are on like, you know, we could fully start this truck up and go for a ride if we wanted to, but as custom as it is, we wanted to make sure it was right before we started body and painting this thing. Cause the last thing you want to do is drill a hole, cut, weld, whatever you have to do on the backside of all this. So another hour consuming project, but it should go right back together when we're done with it. We're, we're very confident in what's happening here. So, so we got the nitrous cab, we're slowly disassembling it at this point because we are in that the last thing is that gas tank and this thing come apart and start body work and painting. Cabs kind of tearing down right now. Um, up here we got, we got a little gap and left to do on the front clip. And then um, we built this nice enclosure panel up here. We got all the fancy AN style hoses in it. Um, you know, the truck's fully wired, all the headlights are wired, the motor's wired right now. We are gonna change out the valve covers to a black setup, but it's it's done, I guess, is the best way to put it. It's, it's ready for the gapping and body and paint. It's a pretty trick. This is a huge build for us, so this is, this is cool to see this one that close. A um, little service work going on over here with Bryce. You know, we, we cater to everyone, I guess, so guy brought it in do a little service upgrade to it you know it's this possibility of performance upgrade so we'll see where the road goes cool little car though uh, Falcons over here I can't remember where this one was at last time but we got our uh, four link set up in this coilovers out back you know now it's a full roller again we just got it jacked up because we had to rob the gunning wheels off of it to roll our K10 around, but um, tubs are done, everything's welded back in in that section. Um, let's see, four link front end, you know, now basically where we're gonna go now is back to the motor side. We mapped out what we gotta do to plumb it and wire it, and then from, you know, now we know where to set everything in that engine bay, and that gives us direction of where the firewall placement's gonna go now, all the aprons tying back into it. Um, we did get a set of tires in for it, so we're gonna shove a 225, 45 up front. So we're just waiting for one more tool to get our back spacing correct, so when the guy's driving the car, the last thing you wanna do is run into your frame rail or run into the fender. Uh, once we get that, we can get the correct room for the front of the car. We, we got the back set ready. Um, so that's gonna help us finish. We got the dart for sale in the paint booth right now. You wanna buy 72 darts for sale, we'll build it for you. We got all the pieces here to build a badass little wrestle mod out of that one too. Give us a call, 608-834-5774. <laughs> uh.